Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days, guys, five days. It's five days. It's five days. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. This is crazy, guys. Y'all got to come on. We got to push a little bit harder because, as we can see, I watched Channel 10 News this morning. No one is talking about the little girl, Keisha. She is still missing. It's five days now. She's 12 years old, and she's still missing, guys. Five days for a 12-year-old to be missing in the city of Norfolk, Virginia, and the news company is not pumping this the way they're supposed to pump it. Okay, look, it's a 12-year-old girl missing now on the fifth day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. She been missing since Thursday, a 12 years old girl. What would it take for our news station here in the 757 to take this situation serious? It's five freaking days, and she still have not been located. It was there with the parents and the family. And Norfolk Police last night was out until 12, 1 o'clock last night, knocking on doors. Why is it our news entity is not taking this thing serious if a missing 12-year-old is here in Hampton Roads? Why is it not blaster and plaster over our news station? Why do y'all have to come to me for updates for a 12-year-old? Five freaking days. They on news talking about drug, um, about human trafficking on Channel 10 News. That if you are telling us on yesterday is a big concern about human trafficking in Hampton Roads and we got a missing 12-year-old little girl, then why y'all not reporting on it? Y'all news is not matching y'all actions. One thing about me, my news station matches my action. If somebody tell me something is wrong, I listen and act. Y'all talking about human trafficking is on the rise in Hampton Roads. Wavy News 10, y'all spoke on it. I think it was yesterday. And here it is, a young lady missing in Norfolk, Virginia. Five freaking days, and y'all not speaking about it. Y'all talked about Norfolk psych, uh, psycho, psychotherapy, uh, Christian therapy been shut down but who cares when there's a 12 year old little girl missing in Hampton Roads y'all spoke about it again this morning I told you guys the hell with Norfolk Christian psych psychotherapy they won't shit they was disrespectful to the patients especially me okay I'm a witness I know they was disrespectful okay why do you care about them being shut down when we got a 12 year old child missing in the 757 where is her air time where is her ammo alert where is the search parties why don't y'all care the little girl went uh, missing out of state she was missing on the 10th she went missing on the 10th out of state I got the receipts right here I have to pull over to show y'all the receipts. She went missing on the till. Her state was looking for her. A uh, Amber Alert was already in place on the 11th. Why can't we get the same love for our black kids that people getting for their white kids that's going missing? I got to pull over because I got to show y'all the receipts. Y'all think I'm racist. There's no way I'm racist when my husband's white. I'm more attracted to a white man than I am a black man. I don't have nothing against a black man. It's what I'm attracted to. Okay, I love my black men. Y'all already know, y'all. Hey, hey, let me tell you about the black men, baby. Can't no look, 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 look. One hundred percent pure beef, baby, all day, every day. But it's something about. Uh, it's just my attraction, so I'm not. I'm saying that. Then let y'all know I'm not prejudiced. I'm not a racist, but I am racist. I'll cuss a white motherfucker ass out quick, bitch, like that. Okay, cause I don't care, but I cuss another black motherfucker out too. My thing is this. Why is it when the white community, kids, and people go missing, all hell stops, all hell break loose, everybody come out to their houses, everybody form up search parties, but we got a missing 12-year-old little girl right here in the 757, nobody ain't doing nothing, no black people out there helping, nobody asking can they post flyers, none of y'all posting fucking flyers. And then when the white folks get missing, we get mad because they know how to rally up, they rally up for their people. And the reason the news station don't give a damn about our people because we sitting at home just looking at Facebook. Damn, she's still missing. Damn, she's still missing. Ain't not one of y'all contacted her mother and asked her if y'all can get some flyers made for her.
Not one person. What the hell? Something just this, this us and that shit right here. Well, see, see you, Charlie. If you're getting something, I'm out. Adios. You got me all the way fucked up. One thing I do, watch my back, front, side, and my goddamn hips. Adios, amigos. Hold on, guys. We all to the Naysdale scene. That location been blown. We gone. We blew that. We blew that. We blew that location. We gone. We dipping. We run. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh-uh, I don't like people to roll up on the bitch. Uh-uh, don't roll up on the bitch. Uh-uh, we gone, blew that location. Just like that, we gone, shit, doing, nigga doing right now. Popos, you should see how fast I'm going right now. I'm doing about 100 going down here. Right about now, I'm doing about 100 on this street right here. And I don't even give a fuck. Give me a ticket, I'm doing 100. Nigga, gone. I see some suspicious shit, and I roll the fuck out. I don't give a damn if had anything to do with me or not. I'm ghost, bitch. I ain't seen nothing, don't want to see it, ain't a part of it. Got that nigga windshield busted out. He got a spare tire on his car. The bitch like ain't been washing six years. It's the best of the hoot this I've ever seen in my life. Ain't gonna pull over and don't use a pocket spat. Nigga, you got me all the way fucked up. I'm gone. I murked on your ass. You look suspicious. Don't look back at me, nigga, because when you turn back around, all you see is my smoke. We smoked that ass just like that. I ain't playing with their ass. We smoked their ass. Shit. We smoked their ass. Shit. In case of in case of emergency, I will put the four by four on and roll over their motherfucking ass. I roll over me a bitch fast as I can. I roll over bitch, pray later, got down, sit down and take the charge. I don't give a fuck. Don't make me mad about this 12-year-old girl I you still missing. Y'all, y'all, y'all already know. I'm pissed off. I, I mean, I'm I'm pissed off. I was up like 12, 1 o'clock, about to go down the street last night to get um to go with them. With the police officer, but I was like, I'm, it's too late, it's too far, too many people getting hurt in 757 at night. I, uh uh, uh uh. Look, 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 y'all, I'm feeling a little paranoid right now. I'm feeling a little paranoid, so let me go ahead and log back. For, I gotta look, 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 I gotta get back with y'all in a minute, okay? Let me get back with y'all in a minute. I gotta end my location real quick and swing back and ting back in with y'all ass because what I just seen and witnessed, I don't want no parts of it. That was the most serious, suspicious shit I ever seen. Get your goddamn son. Who I was saying that is? Get your people now. Get your goddamn people. Shit. <laughs> I murk. Nigga, don't look back at me, nigga. You look back at me one time. And you halfway blocked the driveway. Nigga, I'm going to ride over that hoop. I'm going to show you what the Chevy working with. I know damn well they ain't coming again. Let's go, guys. I know damn well they don't feel like driving with the HRT form of bus driver. Look, I'll drive your ass on the bridge. Look, I'll smoke your ass. I'll smoke your ass. Look, I had this bitch on two wheels. Look, I'm smoking your ass. Look, got me all the way messed up. You don't know. <laughs> That's the... Y'all see, I don't play with people, man. I don't play with people, man. No. I ain't playing with them. I ain't playing with them. I ain't playing with them. Play with them like that. Not today. <laughs> I ain't play with them. I seen that car, man. That car was so goddamn ugly, it scared me. His car was so ugly, it scared the life out of me. I'm telling you guys, what I seen was, this car was so ugly... The windshield was so busted wide open, I don't even know how he see going down the street. This is what I had to witness with my own eyes. This is my turn on. The hood was one color. The side of the, other, the side of the car was another color. He had three rims, three hubcaps, and one, one ball tire that was a, um, a spare tire. Then he got out the car and looked at me and smiled. I looked at him, I did like this. And pull the fuck off. Ain't shit cute about you or your car. I'm gone. You said me. I had to dip on the bitch. I messed the story up and everything. I gotta come back. Yeah, I gotta get my. I gotta get back. Get myself back in order. That was the ugliest damn car I ever seen in my life. That shit did something to me. I don't forget where I'm going at. I'm probably going to the doctor's office. Let me get back to the doctor's office.
That, that nigga car was so ugly. I thought he was a, a hitman. <laughs> that nigga driving with a car so ugly. I thought that nigga was a hitman. Goddamn, Bonnie and Clyde head ass. I'm out. <laughs>